In this video, we're going to find some free wild camping in the Dimu National Park in the northeast of Namibia. So I've never done this, I've never been there, I've just heard the story of you being able to wild camp in the National Park and I thought to myself, why not? Who wouldn't want to do that? So in this video, we're going to investigate find out if it's possible and then how to do it. I'm heading into Congola from the west, from uh, Rundu Divundu side. As you drive in, you'll see the signs Nkasa Rupara National Park and then the second sign here is Mudimo National Park saying 30 kilometers uh, down, the, down to the right. Uh, you can't miss the turn off, there's only one big on one major turn off to the right which is the tar road and that's right off to the service station yes they do have a little service station they also have two little shops one of them is right next to the service station um, including a little ATM I'll be honest my first time going down this road stopping at the service station is um, the furthest I've gone I didn't stop today I've got enough fuel and I've got enough supplies and we'll just carry on from here. Before I go, I just want to welcome Kumaran Governor from New Zealand, uh, my latest Patreon. Welcome to the 5014 Africa family. Thank you so much for your support. And then, of course, thank you to all my other Patreons for their continued support. I really, really appreciate it. The channel cannot exist without you. I just managed to get some wood. Um, I'm glad to say the price is still 10 Namibian dollars per bundle. I got it from uh, like a couple of small children selling. In front of the hut, their father apparently is washing, so he couldn't come. It's amazing the responsibilities that young African children take upon their shoulders at a very, very young age. Things that uh, you wouldn't imagine children doing. So yeah, anyway, what I'm trying to say is I don't want to take videos of them. I don't think it's appropriate. The road that we are now, actually a pretty good tar road, runs parallel south uh, next to the Kwanda River. Beautiful, it's green all around, a lot of beautiful villages. The typical scenery that you find in the northeast. Medimo National Park itself is not very big. Um, between 750 and 1,000 square kilometers. I'm not exactly sure about the size because I get conflicting information. And then from people that has been there that I've spoken to, some have seen some amazing things, uh, some amazing sightings, some have not. So again, conflicting, conflicting information. This video is not going to be about that. I'm not going to drive around and look for animals and show you what. According to my research, you are supposed to see cats, predators, uh, lots of elephant, etc, etc. Um, this video is just going to be about me showing you, us finding out about the wild camping. If it is possible to do, if it's free, it's not entirely free because you still need to pay your park fees. Um, but I'll get to that when we pass through the gate. But you don't, but you don't have to pay for the camping. Just remember that it's wild camping, and as I understand, there isn't a lot. But I will show you that when we get there. Okay, so this this brand new spanking gate building. You see the parking lot, everything in front of us. And then there's an old rusted sign here that says Station down that side What does it say? Medima National Park and Genda Park Station Report for permits Okay, so let's see So this little turn off is before the gate Coming from Congola on the right hand side And now it's turning into a little gravel track Hopefully it's not too far down here Good day, sir. Fine, and you? I'm fine, my brother. Where are the people? The people are in. In where? Where do I report? Okay. This little yellow building. Yeah, I'm fine, that lady. Oh, that one is coming. Yes. Thank you very much. We're back on the main road, back at the main gate. That was painless. It's about 500 meters down on that little gravel road. They got a little office there. I have no idea why they're not using this brand new and beautiful main gate and it's true yes you only pay park fees um, to wild camp in this national park i paid 214 Namibian dollars for three nights remember this includes per person per day cons conservation fee per day as well as your vehicle per day i'll put the park fees on the screen um, just note that this is a second tier park on the left of that of that list or the prices uh, you'll see all the parks that's included this is not the price for Itosha National Park I'll put a link in the description below for the entire full list and you can see and the only thing that remains now is to go and check out the camping spots the gold prize is campsite number three um, and then they said or well, people told me avoid campsite number one so I was lucky to get in the middle campsite number two so the turn off is about six kilometers after the main gate and then it's a long straight gravel road 
about four kilometers and then we get here now oh this is the turn off okay so you drive all the way to the ranger station and then you turn left it says campsite one 500 meters campsite two 600 meters campsite three uh what's that a couple of kilometers sorry i missed that one <laughs> so our campsite should be 600 meters down this road that's the other reason people uh, opt for campsite number three because it's a bit further from here and you have a bit more privacy so what can you expect at the sites i don't know if i've mentioned this before absolutely nothing there's campsite that's it campsite one so there's sort of marked um i've told it's just a piece of ground where you camp and the toilet so exactly like the campsites in Botswana. <laughs> oh a bit of mud a bit of mud a little detour mm -hmm. let there be mud <laughs> Nice little detour for the bush. Kaudum vibes. This is why I come here. It's these these wild vibes. You don't get this in Itosha National Park. Number two. We have a winner. <laughs> Let's say 50 meters in, and that's the river right in front of us. So we, I think we're just on the other side of Nambwa. We're literally on the other side of Nambwa. And this is the campsite. Like I said, free wild camping. It's free, don't complain because you don't have water and electricity. I can confirm there is 4G signal and that's it. This is my spot. I'm gonna give you a 360 tour. <laughs> How amazingly beautiful is all of this. This is a free wild camping spot in the Mudimu National Park. That's crazy, that's crazy. 240 Namibian dollars, okay, I'm a local. To camp here for three nights. That's the quite, I literally paid 250 per person per night to camp on that side of the river. <laughs> wow, I know there's nothing, that's the point. <laughs> uh, yes, that's it for the video. I wanted to have the river in the background, but the sun is from the wrong direction. I think I showed you everything I promised, if I didn't, please put your questions in the comment section below thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it i hope it was informative if it was please like and subscribe please consider joining my patreon for only five us dollars per month